There are different types of visas that you can apply for to go to Australia. The most common being are the student visa and the visitor visa. However, these are not the only visas that you can apply for. Here are some of the list of the other visas that you can actually apply for. Now, we are going to talk about the most common reasons why your student visa gets refused. So the first reason is the failure to meet genuine temporary entrance requirements. When submitting your application, you'll need to attach a written statement of purpose alongside with the supporting documents. If your statement is too generic and doesn't have documentary evidence, your application won't do well when being assessed. So your personal circumstances will also be taken into account, all right? The second reason is the failure to meet academic qualification. To qualify for a student visa, you're going to have to qualify as a student. This means you'll need to have a successfully completed the required academic level to further study. The academic entry requirements can differ depending on the chosen course, the level of education, and of course, education institution. They vary from one education institution to the next, so make sure you carefully read the course information on the website of the schools to see if you qualify for the specific program. The third reason is failure to meet English requirements. English is still the universal medium of instruction. That is why it's very important that as an applicant, you need to be proficient, if not fluent in English. While some applicants avoid taking English tests, it is a requirement for all universities and some vet institutions to qualify for their courses. Number four, you have insufficient funds. We're going to have to meet financial requirements if you want your visa to be approved. Financial capacity is one of the main reasons that the Department of Home Affairs refuses applications. Students must show that they can meet annual living expense, the one-year cost of tuition fee, and their round-trip airfare ticket. You're also going to need documentary proof to show that you have this amount in your money or your sponsor's bank account. Because if you have insufficient funds in your bank account, your student visa is going to be refused. Fifth, you do not have acceptable health overseas student health cover, or welfare arrangements. A medical examination is mandatory for a temporary visa application, so you will want to check out the Department of Home Affairs requirement. Also, all student visa applicants must have organized overseas student health cover, or OSHC. This provides medical and hospital insurance in Australia and must cover the whole duration of your stay or your studies. If you do not have an overseas student health cover, you're not just at a health risk, it might mean having your visa rejected as well. Number six, past misdeeds. This can be a lot of things, like not following previous visa conditions, not really doing what you declared to do under your application, or merely having a criminal record would warrant refusal in your current visa application. Number seven, incomplete or incorrect documents. It's worth looking through the Department of Home Affairs website to ensure you include every document and details necessary for a successful visa application. Take the time to go over your application and make sure you correct any mistakes or fill in any missing information on your application. What can you do to avoid committing any of these seven mistakes? Well. You can talk to MSA Immigration Australia's Registered Migration Agent and Qualified Education Agent Counselor. They give professional and credible advice and will surely help you throughout the student visa application process to make sure that all of your documents are correct and complete and that no step is skipped to reduce the risk in your application. Talk to us now through Facebook or you can send us an email through hello at msaimmigrationaustralia.com.au. Thank you!